friends, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Lisa and I like to do videos on luxury fashion, handbags, ready to wear. I also like to do some styling videos and I do those things from the perspective of somebody who is in the middle of her life as well as somebody who is mid-sized. So if that's something that interests you, I would love it if you would just take a second and click the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. So let's discuss the obvious, the change of my appearance. Yes, I have longer extensions in. I just got a new set yesterday. If anybody wants a video on hair extensions, I've had like probably every kind there is in the world. <laughs> I'd be happy to do a video on them. I've been wearing, these are natural beaded rows. I've been wearing those for, gosh, several years. So happy to do a video. If anybody is interested, just, you know, drop a comment below and let me know if that's something you'd like to know about. But today's video is our $500 Friday weekly installment. This is the series where I go over items from a certain fashion house that are $500 around about and under as potential gift ideas for the holidays as we are getting closer and closer to all of those fabulous gift giving holidays. So before I get into that really, really quickly, my fragrance of the day is actually a Zara fragrance and this is Rose Gourmand. It smells just like Maison Francis Kirkjian's Gentle Fluidity Gold. Not the silver, the gold. I think they smell very, very similar. So if you're looking for something for a much, much more affordable price point, check out that Zara fragrance because I think they smell very similarly, or at least to my nose. And of course, my bag of the day is, of course, my Fendi new peekaboo, mini peekaboo in the denim that I just unboxed yesterday. So she went on her maiden voyage today. Nothing super exciting, just went in the car to go pick up my children from school. <laughs> we'll put her there so you can have a little eye candy since we're in such a drab <laughs> and uh, not very exciting place to sit. So anyway, let's get into the video. So today we are focusing on Hermes. I know lots of things at Hermes are extremely pricey and nowhere near in the $500 or less price point, but you would be surprised how many items they have under $500. So once again, I will be putting pictures up here next to me and I will also put prices on the screen so you will know with their like official names because undoubtedly I will butcher some of these French names. So I'm just referring to my notes on here. So if you see me looking down, that's why. So the first item is the Tarmac. I think that's what it is. Tarmac Passport Cover. Again, I'll pop a picture over here. These come in different colors and they are $240. Now, what I'll say, what I like about the Hermes Passport Covers that I don't like about some of the other ones is that it's literally just like an envelope kind of that you slip your passport into and then it has like a snap little button over the top and, and you'll be able to see that in the picture. But what I like about that is I had a passport cover on my passport when I went, when we went to Europe last year when I got my Birkin. And every time I went through customs in a different country, I had to take my passport out. They're like, can you take it out please? Why in the world do I have a passport cover on my passport if I'm just going to have to take it out every single time? And taking it out of those like book kind of ones that are sort of like, I don't know if any of you who are my age or around, you probably remember, do you remember this? When you were like in middle school and high school and you had textbooks and we actually had to put like paper book covers on them? Comment below if you remember what I'm talking about, but you actually had to put like a jacket, I guess that's kind of what it's called, like a jacket on your book. You know, like if you get a, um, if you get a hardback book and it comes with like, it's called a jacket that goes over the actual book that's made out of paper. That's basically what pretty much any other fashion house's passport cover is, right? You tuck like the front part of your, the front and back cover of your passport into like these little slots and it closes like a book. 
and it's really pretty and it's beautiful to look at but when it comes to actually traveling it's really not functional because then you have to like take it out and you're like bending thing anyway so much easier with the Hermes one because you just slip it in pull it out and you're done okay the next item is the Calvi card holder now this there, this comes in a couple different versions but the one I'm specifically talking about is just kind of the basic one which is $400 and what I like about them, so it's basically like an origami piece that it's, so it's one piece of leather that's just folded. And so you have two sides and you can, either you can use both sides for cards, you could use one side for cards and one side for folded up cash, whatever you want to do. And then you fold it together and it snaps together. The Kelby is also something that I would say is very gender neutral. So I think you could give it to anybody on your gift list. In addition to that, it comes in a multitude of colors. It also comes in a couple of different leathers. So that kind of may vary the price a little bit, but essentially they're all around the $400-ish range and I think makes a perfect gift. Okay, so next we're going to move into some jewelry, both some fashion jewelry as well as some fine jewelry. Yes, I said fine jewelry for under $500. The first thing is the Mini Kelly Double Tour Bracelet. Now these come in a ton of colors. They come in a different hardware version. So you could get a black with a gold hardware. You could get black with, sil with a palladium hardware. You could get black with rose gold hardware. You get my point. Lots of different colors, lots of different, well, not a few different <laughs> hardware options. And these run for $445. I think this is a great gift for anybody on your list. Okay, so the next item is the O. Kelly Pendant. And some of you are probably very familiar with this. I think it's a pretty popular item. It comes in lots of different colors, different metals. And what I really like about this is, you know, you've got the lock like you have on a Birkin or Kelly, and then you have behind it a little piece of leather and the leather comes in different colors like I said as well as there are different metal colors but what I like about this is you know me I like something that does double duty or multi-purpose is you can split these two items up so right you could just wear it one day with just the leather piece on it you can wear it one day with just the lock on it and then one day you can wear it with both of them on it so it's really three pendants three necklaces in one price on the O'Kelly necklace is $330. So again, with my math, that's really only $110 per necklace. So look at that bargain you're getting. Okay, next up is the Shandonk ring. And I brought mine in actually to show. So it looks like that. And I can slip it on so you can see what it looks like on. It's a really pretty ring. It's, you know, very simple, very easy to wear, and it goes for $415. So this is one of those cases where you can get fine jewelry. So this is not fashion jewelry. This is actual sterling silver for $415. And I just think that this particular style is very classic. Again, I think it could be unisex. I think a male or a female can wear this. And for $415, I think it's a bargain. Rounding out the sort of jewelry category, I guess, is an Apple watch band. Now, I don't know how many people in the world own Apple watches. It seems like it's a lot to me as I walk around in the world. I don't know about you guys, but pretty much everybody that I run into is wearing an Apple watch. So why not get them? an Apple watch band from Hermes. So you don't have to have an Hermes Apple watch to get somebody an Apple watch band. So I brought mine, I'm not wearing it today for some reason, but this is my, it does happen to be an Hermes Apple watch. So really all that means you guys is that there are some like proprietary Hermes watch faces that come with this. Um, but otherwise, you know, it just has the standard Hermes watch band and you know it does I don't know that you're gonna be able to see it but it does say let me put my hand up I don't know if you can read it but it does say Hermes on the buckle and this this is my original 
actually Hermes watch band. So before I got an actual Apple Hermes Apple watch, I had a series three I had for years and years and I just bought a strap for it. So this is actually the Berenia strap. So for anybody that's thinking about getting Berenia in anything, this is how it patinas. So as you can see, it's super dark. So that is what it started out as. And then this, is what it turns out to look like. So this you can see has a silver buckle. Again, you can see it says Hermes on the top there. And then each one does have a stamp, just like any other leather piece that you have from Hermes. But this is a great, great gift. Like I said, so many people own Apple Watches and for $339, I think, so that's the 41 inch millimeter one. I think if you have the bigger, face one, the 43 millimeters, I think it might be $10 more, something like that. But for under $350, you can get someone a gorgeous piece of Hermes leather for their Apple Watch. Okay, now we're gonna move into some silks and looking at it from both men and women's. So the first thing is a twilly, right? So lots and lots of people have twillies on their bags. You can wear them as a scarf. But Twillies run anywhere from 195 Some of them I think are a little bit more, but right around the $200 mark, you can get somebody a Twilly, like I said, to go on one of their bags, to wrap it around their wrist, you know, as a bracelet, to wear it around their neck, to wear it in their hair as like a headband or to tie around a ponytail. There's lots of different possibilities of how you can use a Twilly. So again, under $200, a great gift. Next would be an Hermes scarf. Now Hermes is famous for their silk scarves. And you know, if any of you watched The Devil Wears Prada, you know that Miranda would, you know, constantly be asking for new Hermes scarves. And, and you know, she would send her assistants off to go pick up Hermes scarves, you know, by like the stack full but they are beautiful and the patterns and the colors can be anywhere from so vibrant to neutrals, but just are, are serious works of art. And they are done in partnership with some very, very talented artists. And it would be a great gift. If somebody's not really into wearing scarves, they can turn it into a piece of wall art. For somebody who is into scarves, they can wear it as a traditional scarf. And then there's a million YouTube videos out there on how to wear an Hermes scarf. So different ways you tie it and wrap it and whatever to make it into a shirt or, a, you know, a bandeau or anyway, lots of uses for it. And again, I don't think that it is a male or a female thing. I think a scarf for anyone is something that somebody would love, especially if you know, like I said, that somebody really appreciates art. And maybe if you know sort of what their decor is, you could pick a scarf that, you know, kind of matches their interiors. And they generally run about 480 to just under $500. So just squeaking in right under the line. Sticking with silk pieces still, but moving maybe more into the men's area would be ties. And this is another thing that Hermes is very famous for, and that is their men's silk ties and they run about $215 I think for most of them again I'm popping I think a couple pictures up here you can go something very very classic you know something that just is is a pattern but nothing that's really like out there and then you can go really funky like tennis shoes on your tie so lots of different choices lots of different colors lots of patterns i'm sorry if you can hear my child out in the living room because that's just how we roll here so my apologies for people being really loud in the room next door but get your guy a tie 215 dollars okay moving on again kind of sticking with the male themed gifts here are a pair of cufflinks. And I know, you know, not every man is wearing a French cuff and needs a cufflink, but I just think they're fabulous. I love French cuffs on a men's 
on a man's shirt. So honestly, even I could see, you know, owning that style of shirt and wearing some cufflinks with it. They have lots of them to pick from. Some of the ones that I saw were around the $490 mark. So again, just under that $500 threshold. But again, if you have a male in your life who is super uber stylish and wears French cuff shirts, I would get them a pair of cufflinks. Again, for the guys, but also could be for the girls, but I found it on the men's side, is the Fur a Cheval key ring. And I'm probably butchering that French pronunciation, but it's $315. Again, a very useful gift. Everybody has keys. Everybody needs to put their keys on something. So why not get them a key ring from Hermes? Wonderful. And then moving into homeware. Now, there are definitely a lot of different homeware pieces in the Hermes, like in tableware and, you know, different parts of the place settings that you can get for under $500. But, you know, unless you know somebody is like collecting a, maybe a specific line of the Hermes tableware, you probably aren't going to go get them like a plate or a bowl. <laughs> So instead, what I found are the Rokabar set of two mugs, and those are $400. Now, those I think are things that you don't really have to have like a set of. I think it's nice to give somebody two, you know, especially if they're in a couple or something like that, but, or if one is dirty, they can use the other one. But if you have anybody on your list who is a coffee drinker or a tea drinker, I think this, these would be perfect. You know, they're good size. They're not the little like, sort of china cup size with a saucer. They're more of like, I think as Americans, we kind of think of as more of a traditional coffee mug style. And like I said, if you have somebody who is a coffee or tea drinker, you know, maybe you get these, they're $400, you throw in their favorite brand of tea, or, you know, maybe they have a Keurig or an espresso and you get them, you know, they're a favorite sleeve of their favorite coffee or something. and put that in with the mugs and you've got a complete set. All right, we're getting close to the end here. The next thing I wanted to talk about is fragrance. And again, this could absolutely be for either gender, either male or female with a ton of different selections. Now, unfortunately, all of my Hermes fragrances are packed or I would show you some of my personal in my personal collection, but I do have, you know, a picture popped up here which shows, you know, some of the options that you have, but Hermes has a plethora of choices when it comes to fragrance in between, and uh, they've got different sizes you can pick from. So again, you can kind of marry the size of the fragrance to your budget. You know, if you only want to spend under, if you want to spend under $100, you can get something for that. If you want to spend something between $100 and $200, you can do something for that. If you want to do a gift set and give them, you know, a couple different fragrances, because maybe you don't know exactly what they like, you could do that too. So I think fragrance, it's, it is a very personal gift. And so I think you, you do sort of have to know the person pretty well and the type of fragrances that they like. But I also think that it says a lot when you give somebody a, the gift of fragrance. And finally on the list is makeup. As we all know, Hermes branched out into the world of cosmetics about it's been about two years, maybe, maybe three. I'm pretty sure it was actually during the pandemic. So I think it was sometime maybe in 2020. So I'm guessing it's been around two years. And of course they started with lip products and then they moved into some facial products like some highlighters and powder and blush. And then of course they moved into nail polish. And I know a lot of people really like that. So, you know, depending on who you are buying for, you know, you could get them, you know, maybe two or three different items, or let's say they're, if they're really into doing their nails. You could get them, you know, the base coat, a color and a top coat and make just like a little set. And maybe you throw like a little nail care kit in with that and some nail files, etc., and you know, put it in a pretty little basket with a bow or whatever. But lots of different things, lots of different options. And again, the makeup runs anywhere from I think around $60, $65 for one of the lipsticks, you know, up to a couple of hundred dollars depending on what you're looking at. But again, very much within the range. And if you have a beauty lover on your list, 
I am sure they would love anything from Hermes. And as we all know, the packaging, chef's kiss. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. It does help the algorithm. And again, if you haven't already, take just a really super quick second and click the subscribe button down below and the notification bell. So you know every time I upload a video, which right now is actually about three times per week since we've added this Friday series of $500 Fridays. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really, really appreciate it. I, I so appreciate every time you come back and watch a video. And I hope that wherever you are in the world today, you're having an amazing day. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.